Ash, you must be disappointed, but uh, you must be also incredibly proud of what you've achieved this last fortnight. Yeah, disappointed um, purely from a um, from having or well, competing my whole life, and obviously we I'm um, driven to win every, every single match. But um, today, Petra was outstanding. She really was. She took it away from me um, quite early in the match, and she's very capable of doing that to players. More though, now that you've done that, you've, you've proved yourself on the stage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, once you get a taste of it, you're always hungry for more. But um, I've I've always been extremely driven uh, and passionate, uh, especially coming back this second time around about how I've wanted to go about things. And I think more importantly, I've I've begun to understand um, better off the court um, how I can enjoy it more and, and enjoy the process and trust the process and and um, get the results that we're after. Ash, Alex said that you know, playing first time on centre, he had you know goosebumps. It was surreal, and obviously this is a final. What was the atmosphere like out there for you? Yeah, I've, I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to play on Rod Laver um, a few times now, and obviously had a, a bit of a taste of it um, in the past few Australian Opens as well. But uh, it's, there's nothing better than a night session at the Australian Open, um, and particularly for it to be quarterfinal, so exciting. Um, you know, and, and even though the result didn't go my way today, I enjoyed every minute. Last night when Simona lost to Serena 6-1 in the first set, she said that it felt like she'd been hit by a train. That was her quote. Did it feel it was the same scoreline, Petra hit all those winners? Did it? Was it something similar for you tonight? Yeah, Petra is absolutely capable of, of taking a match away from someone. Um, I, I knew that going in, and, and at times it's it's very much out of my control um, what she does from her end of the court. And I think at, in, in the beginning she served um, particularly well, and, and even when I was hitting my spots on first serve, she was returning within a metre or two of the baseline and putting me on the back foot instantly. But, um, yeah, she was clean as a whistle tonight, and then just I have to give all credit to her. There's been a lot of negativity around Australian tennis in the past fortnight. What's it been like being the positive story? Oh, I think from I mean from my point of view, I haven't read um, any anything else that's been going on. I'm, I'm not aware of anything else that's going on. And um, for me and my team, there's been nothing but positive um, positive news and, and positive kind of vibes the last the last month, not just the last two weeks. The atmosphere tonight, Ash. Did you feel more nervous than usual in that first set? Is that why the, the slow start happened? No, look, I, I, I wasn't nervous at all. I was excited, and I think I don't think it was a slow start. It was more of a Petra start. Um, you know, she she took the match away from me, and um, it was very much out of my control. And uh, I know that I did everything possible to to try and get myself back into that match, um, but she was too good tonight. Ash, how close do you feel to taking that next step? What's the next step? In terms of finishing the year so well, and obviously starting it well, just obviously keeping the ball going the way it is. Oh, I mean, I think I've done everything I can. Uh, I mean, I finished season uh, of 2018 with a title and um, I've had my best start to 2019, so certainly no complaints from here. If you had to narrow it down tonight, Ash, which part of your game let you down, do you think? No part. No part. I think Petra took it away from me. Um, and there wasn't a part of me. I mean, I, would, I have no regrets. I have, um, you know... I would love to have certain points part, uh, certain points of the match back, but that's that's not how it goes. And um, you know, Petra was certainly on song tonight and took the match away from me. It should seem like there was a little bit of psychological warfare going on out there. Did it feel at all like she was trying to unsettle you? Not at all. Not at all. This is the furthest Petra's made since that incident at her apartment. How impressed are you by her resolve to come back from such a traumatic incident? Yeah, she, she is amazing. Uh, she's an amazing human being, and I think um, she's beginning to play her best tennis again. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to play her in one of her first tournaments back in Birmingham um, a couple of years ago. And, uh, look, I think she's she really is... Um, I mean, we all know what Petra's can done. She's a Grand Slam champion. She's proved that she can beat the best and, um, you know, be very close to the best. I think she's been number two in the world before. So she certainly got the game uh, and the attitude to to be able to take it to anyone. Um, but most importantly, I think, from all of the girls in the locker room, it's it's amazing just to see her back out here. Um, it was it wasn't the same when she when she wasn't here. Um, the crowd didn't seem to reach the levels that it has in previous. Did you feel that, and did that have any impact on the match? I think it's it's hard for for an Austra a pro Australian crowd to to get involved when uh, I'm down 6-1 in the first set, uh, to be honest. I think, um, look, Petra took the crowd out of it as well and I knew that um, she would be trying to do that and from my point of view, it doesn't really change how I um, behave or perform on the court. Um, I'm trying to do whatever I can to try and win that point um, in, in that particular point and then 
uh, yeah, I mean, the, the crowd obviously has an impact in some regard, but certainly not on my performance tonight. What's your next move from here? What's your plans heading up to the French Open? Oh, French is a long time away. <laughs> um, uh, I think I'll, I'll worry about getting home and, uh, and being able to celebrate what my team and um, what I've been able to achieve over the last month. It's, it's been a hell of a month of tennis and uh, I'm extremely proud of myself and of my team. Um, and I think we'll certainly kick back with a beer tonight and be able to celebrate.